I know that people tend to complicate the concept of what an anonymous function is, but all it is is just a function without a name. So anonymous functions in PHP are also called closures. So instead of doing something like function, function name, and parameter name, and then the body of the function goes in here, you will drop the function name and assign it to a variable. So all we're doing is dropping that name and then assigning the remainder of that function to a variable. So let's go ahead and actually create a real life example. So we can say stuff dogs say is the variable and it's gonna be assigned to a function. Now, normally we would put in this function name but because it's an anonymous function, we drop the name and we just assign it a function like that. Now, what would be something that a dog might say? Most likely, echo dog says cats suck. So that's probably the most common thing. And then, because we know variable functions, we can say stuff dog say and append the parentheses. And now we can have this anonymous function. And this is pretty much uh, a really good use of a variable function right here. So let's go ahead, open up our browser, open up the new page. And as you can see, it says, dog says cats suck. Now, can we press arguments to this function? Sure. So let's create a new function called stuff dog say two, and that's gonna be equal to function. And that function is going to be uh, declared with a parameter. And that parameter, for example, we might call it say. And then we're going to open up and close our parentheses. The only thing that you're going to have to remember is when you are doing anonymous functions like this, the function is assigned to this variable. So this is an assignment statement. So you are going to have to put a semicolon after this uh, curly brace. So now we can just say echo sing and then call stuff dog say two and pass a sing. So for example, cats stink. And now we can save that. I'm just gonna put a little break tag right here so that it pops up underneath. Break tag right there as well. Hit refresh and we have cats stink. Now, if we want to get a little weird, we can return an anonymous function from inside a regular function. So we can say, we can declare a function, for example, stuff cats say. So here we go. We have a function. Remember I told you before in our functions tutorial that a function can pretty much return anything, including another function. So we can return a function an anonymous function like that. And then inside this function, we might say echo dogs suck. Now, how do we actually execute this echo statement? So let's walk through it. So we'll say cats is equal to stuff cats say. So now we're assigning stuff cats say this function, this overall outer function to this cats variable. So currently we've returned a function, which is this basically uh, anonymous function inside here. But that return function hasn't been executed yet. We just assigned it to the variable cats. So to call a function, remember we have to use parentheses. So in order to execute this function now, we are going to have to use parentheses like that. I'm going to go ahead and comment that out real quick. So just to refresh, just to make sure in the browser nothing weird happens, we're going to go ahead and hit refresh. And as you can see, as expected, nothing happened. Because, so once we assign this outer function to cats, it returns a function. And now, pretty much we have to somehow call this inner anonymous function. So in order to execute it, we have to append parentheses to our variable, and now it's getting executed. So now, once we refresh it, it should say, dogs suck, and it does. So I think that'll give you guys enough to think about. 
I think that'll give you guys enough to think about. So until next time.